675 bucks. 395? Oh, he'll take them. He'll take them. Where's the mirror at, man? Let me. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Swag and welcome back to Exploring Esports. It's time to get this party started and this is our East Coast Showdown. It's been about a 50-50 split, but inside the <laughs> hill for the most part, this is a non-stop pressure having game, but now you actually have a Tatch going on a five spree. We're in Minnesota right now for the first Call of Duty League, first event of the year. Very exciting stuff. The first time ever since the league's been formed. Two of my friends are actually here, Attach and Zuma, and I figure since I have the day off, some free time, I figure I hit them up and we go sneaker shopping. Today we're checking out this cool sneaker shop called Piff. I uh, heard they have some really good shoes and we're gonna go check it out and hopefully I can walk out with some Nike Hyperdunks. They're just classics. I wouldn't say I'm a hype beast at all. Um, I'm wearing chucks when we're about to go sneaker shopping right now, so I definitely don't consider myself a hype beast. I can see you rocking those, bro. Oh, I'm gonna have to- How much? I'm 395. Oh, I'm he'll take them, he'll take them. I've been looking at the, the Travis Scotts. I can't reach. These are fire, I love these. This is actually really dope. You just put, pull your phone out, open the photo app, there, it pops up like that. You see, 675 bucks. They are my size, these might be the ones. I'm gonna be honest, they look good, bro. See how they feel. I'm a, I'm a very simple guy, you know? I don't, I don't like anything too flashy. Ooh, these are soft. Are they? They're real soft. With the jacket, that's the... Yeah, yeah, it yeah, goes perfectly. Right there. Yo, these match the, the team colors too, bro, <laughs> yeah. you know? Where's the mirror at, man? Let me, come on, that's man, let me, right me check there. the mirror real quick. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. I think I'm gonna get these for sure. I could just feel me frying on stage with these, you know? <laughs> those might be the ones, man. But I also like those, those are nice too. Though. How many pairs of ones do you have and how many pairs of... Got you know, one pair of those, I got no pair of ones. That's what I'm saying, uh, that's what I'm saying. You have to buy to get the ones with it. Zoom and Attach are pros. They have league matches actually this week. He got streaks across the board. The guns for the subliners starting to turn up. I'm personally a content creator. I'm not signed to a team. I mainly create YouTube videos and I stream all the time. YouTube, what is going on, guys? Hey, YouTube, what is going on, man? Hey, YouTube, what is going on, guys? I'm definitely happy where I'm at because people always ask me, you know, what do you want to do in five, 10 years? And I always just say, like, I can be a content creator. There's no restrictions. It's all about just what the content I create. For us, when we're professional players, we're focusing on ourselves because we want to be the best that we can be. So it's hard to entertain and talk to people when you're focused on something completely different. Because when you're a pro player, you also, you don't want to stream a lot just because you don't want your competition watching what you're doing. You might be the best and might make a lot of money, but your career after gaming, I don't know how good it, it potentially can go. To be a pro player, like there's always going to be that young teenager who's just freakish at the game. So I feel like a longevity being a content creator, I'm happy where I'm at right now. It's very tough to balance the two out and do the best content and then practice as much as possible. So I definitely put uh, the priority to being a professional player because that's what I love doing. I could stream for six, seven hours and also get YouTube content out of that. For them, they just strictly play scrims all day and they don't get any content out of that. So me personally, I couldn't see myself doing it and that's why I do what I do. So today, man, we're gonna be vlogging. I'll be playing against, you know, just people who watch my videos or anyone who wants to compete. Probably the biggest thing this weekend for me personally was meeting Gary Vee. Him actually giving me some advice regarding how I approach content was just amazing. Sometimes I see gamers hate on content creators. Oh, it's all the time. I I'm mean, very I, aware. Yeah. <laughs> it's and bad. I laugh at them. I'm like, do you not understand this person is putting you on? You're actually amplifying their careers. They're gonna get bigger contracts and endorsement deals because of the content creation you're yep. creating. They make fun of the players who are mad at them for making content, but then they make fun of the new platforms and don't make for it. Yeah, that's one of the things why I started streaming on Twitch about like two or three months ago. I, Good for you, you're I, mixing I wanted, it up. Yeah, I wanted to try something different. I was always making videos. I get it. And then all of a sudden now it's like I want to stream. My goal always to, was to hit a million. But now that I hit a million, it's like- Now what? Yeah, exactly. Don't create arbitrary goals like a million subscribers, followers, or dollars. Okay. Create processes that you love. But I think a lot of people make arbitrary goals that end up being achieved and then they're lost. Changing your mind is the ultimate strength. After the fact, we went across the street and I uh, got some bite to eat. And it's been a while since I saw him at a last event. So it was nice to catch up with Zoom and Attach. What was the process like with choosing teams? Like how did that go like? The people at these new organizations like reaching out 
and then like talking to like a couple players and then getting a gist of who's good. Cause like really wow. So they would talk to like one or two guys, and then those yeah. one or two guys would be like, yeah. "Yo, this dude, this yeah, dude. yeah, yeah." What do you look for in a teammate as far as like you want to play with them? It's everything. It's definitely like because I've had teammates in the past where their attitudes are terrible or just like a bad teammate overall. So like because then it's hard to like grow as a team and grow as a player. Like you want to be able to like figure a mistake out ASAP and move on to the next mistake. Yeah. So you want people that easy to work with and want to learn. I've won with Dylan, I, I know what he's like. Yep. Cause when you win with somebody, you know you can do it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. you know it's there. Do I treat myself? Not necessarily, no, like I said, the best thing I usually treat is like, if I want to go on vacation. I treated me and my best friend last year, we went on a trip to Italy. Uh, that was one thing I want to do was just travel. I, I'd rather spend my money on traveling rather than, you know, designer clothes or anything like that. Really? I went to Rome and Amalfi. Do you like it? Bro, Amalfi was a movie. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's dope. The food, man. The yeah, pizza. the food is good. Is it different? Bro, <laughs> what is it? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more esports content, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also, if you want to check out me, my channel is uh, youtube.com slash swag.